just for the both of you, um, how did this win feel out there tonight? Um, this win felt great. You know, obviously we um, this is something we've never done before, so um, it was a big win for us. I mean, I'm, I'm super proud of my teammates. They did great. I mean, they did some big-time things out there, so it was a good, great win for us. It was a great win for sure. Um, it's something we've been working for, and we just we stayed focused and we played together tonight, and we came out with the win. Asia, how happy are you for Dana? Oh, I told her out there, I was like, I'm so proud of you. You know, to see her, you know, she grinds every single day, and she doesn't stop. And um, I'm super proud of her. You know, I know she feels good because she sees her hard work paying off. So I mean, it's huge. I'm sure part. I'm sure part of the recruiting pitch coming here that was, if you come here, we can beat UConn, right? I mean, at, at some point, was that part of the recruiting pitch for you? Well, I mean, that was a long time ago, if you think about it. But <laughs> um, <laughs> um, we didn't really talk about that. I just want to win at the highest. Um, so that's all we really talked about. I'm trying to think about what did we really talk about, but that was pretty much it. Asia, when, when you look at that, that second quarter, you, you start off 0 for 4, I believe, in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. What was your thinking about, about shooting? Was it just, just trying to get open? I mean, were you happy with your looks and it just finally fell in the second yeah. quarter? I mean, I had great looks. I had great looks even when the ball did not go in. I mean, it's fine. Like, that's part of the game. You're not going to make every single shot. So, I'm a, I mean, I just laugh. I just laugh when people, you know, think that maybe I'm getting frustrated or maybe I'm getting – Whatever it may be, but um, I mean, it's fine. I don't really get too down about missing shots. That's part of it. You know, I work so hard on my game, so you're going to miss some, some shots. For both of you back here in the back, Coach has been talking about rebounds all season, and you guys have worked so hard on it. So what was it like out there tonight to get the more rebounds, be the more physical team, and put this one away? I think um, we knew what we had to do to win. And if you don't rebound against UConn, you will not win. So I know that they made that a point of emphasis, and we had to make sure we found Collier because she's a beast on the board. So the post players, they had to go find a post. The guards, we had to clean up the long rebounds. Yep, what she said. That was great. <laughs> hey, y'all y'all make me feel like I'm funny in here. Like I'm a comedian. I'm funny. I like that. Um, you've been to multiple Final Fours as a program, but is there a symbolic or psychological value in getting past UConn finally? No. Both of you. It's, it's only January. This is not the national championship. Even if we lost, I mean... We still have more games to play. So even though we won, we have a game on Saturday. So enjoy this for the night. Go home, you know, and get ready for practice tomorrow. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, of course it feels good to be UConn. Uh, but I just feel like this is not it. Like, we have not arrived. So I feel like we still have work to do, and we still got things to clean up. And what's important now is the next game. So we got Clemson Saturday. Asia, there was a play there, I think, uh, midway through the third quarter. Uh, Jazz uh, overthrew you on an outlet pass. You made um, a play to keep it inbounds, and then Asia fed, uh, or then uh, Erica fed. AC. Sam. Yeah. And she passed it to Sam, yeah. Says Sam. You know, on a play like that, is that when you kind of start feeling that maybe this is your night and that, you know, you'll you'll break the streak against UConn? Um, I mean, it was still early in the game. It was a whole lot of ball left, basketball left. So, um, I mean, that was a good play for us. Um, you know, so you don't really get too high off of that. Of course, you get pumped up. I mean, it was a great play, but um, that was not the play that was like, okay, well, we're going to win. You know, we had to maintain that for the whole game, all four quarters. For both of you, just about this crowd tonight, largest home attendance of the season, your thoughts about who showed up to see you do this tonight? Yeah, we for sure have the best fans in the country. We say it all the time, but right. this one was special. They knew um, we would need them tonight to get us going, and um, they, they kept us going, so I feel like they helped us out a lot. Asia, you were warming up for the game, and Coach Ariama came by and said something that uh -huh. made you laugh. What did he tell you, or can you tell us? You know, he's he's a great guy, great guy, great coach. You know, he's just saying, good luck. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't believe that.
Yeah, that's all right. Um, <laughs> you, you, guys, liar. you guys He's both guy. were on in that game a year ago at UConn, and for the last three quarters, you outplayed them. It just was a bad start. Did you kind of feel like you could do the same thing tonight? Was that any part of your thinking tonight? I think um, the way you start against UConn is key. You can let them get on a run and just keep keep scoring, keep scoring, then you're not scoring. So I feel like the key tonight was to stop their runs. They were going to go on runs. There is UConn. They're really good. So we just had to stop their runs, and we had to continue to score and make good decisions with the ball. And we took care of the ball pretty good tonight, too. My bad. I'm old. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all laughing at me? Don't Asia, the, the 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 second you had, I think three threes in a row early in the second quarter. The second one with the crossover dribble before mm. the 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 feeling in the building. Had you experienced something like that before? And, yeah. and can you put the the feeling into words? Um, I'm gonna try to put it into words. It's kind of like uh, okay. So it's kind of like you're a small kid, you get up Christmas Day, you go downstairs, and you got a big old bike out there, and you're like, ah, you get so excited, so it's kind of like the best way where I could put it, um, but you know, I mean, the crowd was great throughout the whole night, um, you know, every time we hit a three, go on a run, um, they get so loud, I mean, it's kind of like when we played Notre Dame last year, but I mean, it was louder this year, which is so great, sure so let's keep on building that. Is that drawing on real life experience, or do you once get a bike for Christmas? <laughs> um, What did I get? Probably, actually, I did. It had a little training wheels on it, though. I didn't know how to ride a bike back then. Don't tell nobody, though. So you, you compare this to the Notre Dame game from, from last year. Mm-hmm. How Was it just because the stakes were similarly high, or, or how does the maybe the Ohio State game or some of those other big wins you had last year compare to this? Um, this one's huge. You know, obviously, we've never won against them. We were 0-14 against them. Um, so this is, this is huge. This is really different for us. So, um, you know... <laughs> It was a big win for us, but, you know, obviously we can't stop now. We got to keep going. We got to keep building. We can't get too high off this win. Asia, the way you've been shooting as of late, how helpful was the shooting contest that we had just kind of helped you out? It's been, oh, I just realized what you just said. Right. You know, you helped me out a whole lot. Um, Even though I beat you, what was it like? I don't even know the score, but I got it up. About three. Okay. Well, yeah, you know what? I'm going to... You helped me out a whole lot, okay? You taught me how to reshoot. You taught me how to make three in a row. So thank you, my guy. I appreciate you. On on Monday. <laughs> For real, like. Yo, y'all are funny. Yeah. On Monday when the uh, next poll comes out, mm-hmm. um, there's going to be a lot of people, uh, a lot of pollsters that are going to weigh this game in, in, in Baylor. Um, and decide who's number one. Mm-hmm. You know, if if you guys are number one on Monday, what would that mean to you guys? Uh, me personally, I've never got caught up in rankings, especially in high school. You see so many kids that are ranked. I mean, it's just a number. You know, it really goes off of how you play each game. If you win, if you lose. I mean, obviously that would mean a lot for this program but you know like I said you got a whole lot of basketball left it's still January so it's a lot left yeah it'll be great but I mean uh, we still know we we have a lot to work to do a lot of work to do we cannot get too high off of this game like I said we still have a lot of tough games coming up in ACC the ACC is really tough this year so we just got to make sure we're ready for the next challenges yep for both of you, what's the overall big takeaway from tonight? Um, defense. Boxing out. I saw we got them on the boards by six. So um, that's huge. Limit them to one shot um, and not letting Katie Lou get going. I mean, she's a great player. She's one of the best three-point shooters in, in the country. So that's huge. We had to know where she's at at all times. And also getting back, um, stopping them from fast breaks. That was huge. And I think we did a good job with that. And, um, you know, overall, we did a great job tonight. You know, like I said about Dana, she had a great game. And other players stepped up and did some big-time things for us.
That's it. I'm sorry if I missed. I was really calling. I'm sorry if you've you been asked this before, but notice Coach Oriyama when he came out and over and talked to you, and then you know going through the line, he seemed to have said something to you. Would you care to share that? And what's it like playing against your former USA basketball teammates, Lou and uh, Chris? Martin? I mean, it's great, you know, just seeing them grow as players. You know, we go way back to high school when we're 15 and 14. So now we're 20, 21 and up. So um, just to see them grow is pretty neat and get um, better as players, too. Um, best of luck to the, both of them. You know, they're very talented, great people and great players. So it's pretty cool to see them grow. He just told me great luck. Good luck. That's all he said. Um, Looking forward to a great game. That's all he was talking about. So it was a great conversation. Thank you.